What's up with it? What's up with it, y'all? This your boy, Duke Dogley. Yeah. Y'all check this out, man. Y'all know I'm a Titans fan, man. And I can't believe I didn't even put this down, you know. Yeah, yeah, say what you want. My Titans, sooner or later, they're going to take it all the way to the Super Bowl and win it. All right? But but uh, as for now, man, let me tell y'all something about my, my squad that I didn't say at all, really. Um, as far as those draft picks concern, you know, I pretty much like every last one of them. It was a, it was a good, uh, they were good picks. They were good picks. You know, it filled the needs, some of the needs that we had, you know, for the positions that we failed to, uh, you know, act upon last year and just didn't prove, didn't get any results is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, man, I'm going to tell you this right here. Um, one move that I thought was kind of, you know, one move that they didn't make, not going to lie, that I thought was kind of, uh, you know, that should have been a home run hitter because he is a home run hitter, and that's Elijah Moore, okay? Yes, I'm talking about A.J. Brown's compadre AJ Brown's uh you know friend of course he's a home run threat guys I mean seriously this dude right here knows how to play the game he has an instinct just like AJ Brown to just see the end zone and go he's a threat and from what I'm hearing right now man Jets got him Man, much power to the Jets. They are building a dominant team. They already got their wide receiver in play. And that's Elijah Moore, man. He's going to be a threat in the NFL. Watch what I tell you. Can't wait to see him play, you know, except for when it comes to uh, playing us. I can't wait to see him play because I know dude's going to be, um, he's going to be dope, man. And I seen uh, on YouTube a little while back, man, when AJ met him. I guess, and when, you know, when they finally met up with, with each other after he was that, you know, the Jets pick, and he was damn near in tears and shit, man. That's what I call love, man. That's what I call love, man. <laughs> you, you know, he was just happy to see him go to a team, man. That boy really cares for him, and, hey, you know what I'm saying, much respect, you know, out there to A.J. Brown, man, for, you know, just... Being there for his boy, man. Period. The kid is special, man. That kid Elijah Moore is special. Um, he uh, he's gonna be something, man, in the NFL. He is, no doubt about that. But anyway, uh, as far as the picks we got, wide receivers that we picked in the NFL to go to the NFL, well, you know, play for the Titans, whatever. Um, uh, Dez Fitzpatrick, yeah, he's going to be good, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be a tall – he's going to be a tall threat for us, man. He got good hands, yo. He got real good hands. He got sticky hands. I didn't see him drop the ball that much when he was playing for Louisville. So – you know, hopefully he'll play the same way, if not better, when he comes to uh, Tennessee and check us out, you know. I think he's going to be pretty good, man, you know. And uh, Racy McMath, that kid is going to be special. I think he's going to be special. He got the mechanics, he got the jukes, he got the moves. Like like some people were saying, they were that he reminded them of Anquan Bolden back in the days, and he kind of does remind me of Anquan Bolden. You know, as far as his shiftiness and moves and speed, because Anquan had speed, man. If y'all watched him play in the NFL, you know what I'm saying. The boy had talent, man. The boy had speed. He was a star. He just didn't. You know, I don't know what happened to him, to be honest with you, man. He just disappeared quietly out of the NFL. 
But McMath is going to be something special to watch. I can't wait to see him and Des Fitzpatrick out there, you know, showing love to both of them, man. Because Tannehill needs that love. He needs that. And they definitely got the skills, man. They just got to put it into play and get it to working on the field. You know? I also heard something about a uh, just a whisper. It's not. I don't think it's really, you know what I'm saying, true. But talking about, uh, what's his name from Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers, potentially trade, you know, potential trade rumors that he might come to Tennessee, which I don't think is true, but... You know, don't get me wrong. I love Tannehill. The boy's dope. He's a threat. He took us to the playoffs, even though we lost both. And, you know, gave us pretty good records, you know, so far. But to get Aaron Rodgers and Derrick Henry in the backfield, shit. Come on, y'all. Y'all know that's just a straight up train wreck in a good way of a combination. Devastating. But I run my numb. We good with what we got, man. We're going to give Ryan, you know what I'm saying, another time this year. Hopefully, man, he can build something. We can build something and get it together and, and make that happen. I also like the quarterback. Not the quarterback, but the quarterback we got. You know, they say he stays injured a lot or whatever, which I don't, I think it's just, you know, blown out of proportion but that dude i forgot his name if y'all could tell me the name of him he got potential too he's gonna be <laughs> he, he he's gonna be something else man he's gonna be something else i think he's definitely a good pick for us at the cornerback slot because he ready he eager to prove everybody wrong so i can't wait to see all of them play out on the field man hopefully we can have a good year go tennessee titans all the way all the time. Your boy Duke Dog, man. I'm gonna holler back at you. Peace.